Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, uh, welcome to all of the participants and our uh, respected uh, guest speaker, Dr. Raja Masood Narek Sahib. He is working as uh, prof assistant professor in uh, associate professor in uh, NED University of Engineering and Technology in Electrical Engineering Department. And uh, he is very uh, active researcher and uh, working with IEEE uh, for the publication and e handling of different events in NAD. And uh, further, I like to request Mr. Dr. Raja Masood Larek to start the presentation of this <coughs> workshop on how to write a in high impact journals, uh, your research publications and digestions. Dr. Raja Masood Larek, sir, kindly start. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Noman Ali Khan. Uh, thanks to Continuing Engineering Education Professional, they have arranged a workshop. So I will uh, share my screen and shortly we will start, inshallah. I hope everybody hears me clearly, right? My voice is okay, right? Yes, sir, it is audible. So, uh, the screen has been shared, uh, I believe. Yes, sir, it is visible. OK, so <clears throat> uh, our topic is how to publish in high impact journals. Uh, and it's arranged by a continuing Center for Continuing Professional Education, such as University. Bismillah rahman rahim <clears throat> And these are my details that is presented. That is my name, uh, my design, uh, and my Google School pro uh, profile. Uh, these are uh, further links. Uh, for contact to me, LinkedIn profile research. Uh, this one is uh, my back academic background. Uh, bachelor's University of Technology Malaysia, Johor Bahru in 2019. This one is my professional experience. Uh, I worked at uh, different places. Uh, I worked at uh, assistant electric and assistant plant manager. Uh, uh, 1998. Then life member, I scores actually uh, are outgoing. Uh, because publish until and unless you find uh, your strengths and the weakness of uh, others, right? And uh, you need to identify the gap, which is very important because gap analysis uh, uh, guides you towards uh, publication in impact factor journals, a potential gap. And uh, to connect the, uh, when you find the gap, you should need to connect your work with the others. Uh, uh, you Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, but disturb कर रहा हूँ आपको. लेकिन आवाज बिल्कुल भी clear नहीं हो रही आपकी.
बेटर नहीं कुछ आवाज अच्छी जी सर बेहतर Okay, so the main objectives of our today's program are uh, these: that is, uh, we we, uh, we come across new know, know about the research trends, the strengths and weaknesses, the potential gap, and uh, <clears throat> the connection between our work and the others. And uh, lastly, means in the end of this lecture, we'll uh, I will discuss uh, that uh, discuss little bit about title, abstract, intro. and result sections which are very important uh, in the manuscript and the uh, manuscript going to be except in uh, impact factor journals so methods is the discussion and conclusion in the final sections okay uh, before uh, when you start your research uh, you not need to find uh, you not need to uh, solve the all world problems right so be specific in your research right so when you start your research you should be specific to some uh, problem that is uh, not solved by any anyone else uh, than you so be specific because research is narrow down because you need to narrow down your problem and uh, only focus on your specific problem right and think in very deep actually research is deep not wide it's deep actually when you go deeper and deeper you find so many flaws in the previous research the greatest ideas are literally uh, worthless if you keep them to remember that you need to exchange ideas uh, and this one is basically exchange ideas between your supervisor your co supervisor and in the same area so there is uh, the discussions uh, and the ideas are very Uh, your mind will get open right and ideas will come to your mind so the learning outcomes of this uh, workshop uh, you need to understand the root of uh, publish your work in impact factor journal with that is some techniques and uh, um, you uh, know that how to respond editorial team because you have to respond editorial team uh, accordingly uh, right and the reviewers and the editorial team right associate editor and the main editor the chief editor and for publishing your research work in quality impact factor journal uh, maybe q1 and q2 q3 and q4 right there are four quarters so we need to know that why you want to publish in high impact journal uh, obviously you want to get a uh, higher citation of your work uh, and uh, your feedback from reviewers experts uh, make you polish and make you uh, uh, shine and personal satisfaction when you uh, publish uh, you uh, satisfied that your uh, work is being uh, reviewed by experts of that field right and uh, obviously you know you need promotion uh, in your uh, job places uh, right promotion like uh, you you want to become associate and then professor you need publications right and quality publications matters actually and also as a ticket for mobility because you, you when you publish uh, i say journals impact factor journals it's a ticket for mobility you may move around in the conferences uh, sometimes as a keynote speaker sometimes uh, as a delegate sometimes different uh, things but you and visibility and obviously the university ranking where you working in the in the university where you work actually when you publish your university ranking got uh, enhanced <coughs> uh incentives uh, of uh, publication that is what incentives uh, you get actually uh, people uh, publish because they want to earn their degrees that is master or phd sometimes it's a requirement of job and uh, the job promotion teaching side obviously you need 10 quality journals uh, for associate professor and 15 for full professor so obviously these publications helps you in uh, so many Uh, dimensions and uh, obviously uh, increase salary because when you uh, uh, upgraded to enhanced to position you will uh, 
publications, many public uh, published and impact factor journals, uh, some incentives are given. And your positions, so. Uh, you uh, that uh, the people around you, that the scientist society globally, you are known to the peoples and uh, your value get raised in the scientist society. So now start uh, basically uh, what is a good article? Uh, you need to have uh, your article uh, very good so that you can have a chance to publish in impact factor journal that is ISI journal. So you have to look uh, uh, very deeply right uh, in your work that uh, word is beyond that. You actually you have to think out of the box which is uh, and remember that this is uh, something from your own pocket right. The research is that uh, your own philosophy, your own thinking. So it must be come out from your own pocket, right? Uh, uh, because every uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives brains to everybody and uh, and the brain, the thinking of uh, everyone is different from uh, each other. So uh, people think uh, in different uh, dimensions and different things and they analyze and they synthesize and they interpret their words with the others and they got relevance and significance in their work. And finally, the uh, article becomes a very, very good one or excellent one. So have you tried publishing ISI journals? So it's not difficult. If you see uh, the teamwork is uh, very important. Uh, the bicycle riders, they are four, but they are when, when they are keep riding, they can uh, uh, <coughs> race on the slope very easily, right? Similarly, the team is working uh, that to fix the key in the lock. So it is teamwork actually. So when you work in a team, uh, different ideas will come to your mind and uh, teamwork uh, uh, team uh, helps you a lot, right? To the uh, potential gaps in the research, uh, the current trends and to publish in ISAC journals. So your dreams comes true uh, when you think that uh, uh, Q1 paper that is high quality journal, top 25%. Uh, you can also do it. It is not impossible. That is not impossible. See? Uh, if it starts working, uh, raising on the ladder, uh, finally you will got it right in your position. But uh, don't fall down or don't uh, feel uh, anything in, uh, not published. You can publish, yes, because the people who publish in ISI Q1 journals, they are also human beings. They have two eyes like you. They have two ears to hear. They have one mouth, right? They are same thing as you. But just do, uh, uh, do it and, uh, <clears throat> and don't... Uh, don't give up, right? Every time you work, you work, you work, and finally you will uh, get at some position and your uh, work will be published. Uh, always uh, make dua and uh, make selections of the research articles, uh, choose the uh, right database and uh, choose uh, correct papers, right? The quality papers for your review. And uh, when you select the paper, it, uh, you need to find the structure of the paper. What is the structure of the paper? section of journal is also a uh, question because you need to have a select uh, when when you do literature review at that time you have to focus that which journals you are targeting actually so target the journals is the first thing that then you will go for the for publish to that journal right so the, the, just note down that uh, what architecture architecture and the style of that journal right particularly and write accordingly So it's very important. Um, uh, it relates to literature review. Actually, you want to, uh, you need to find the research gap, a clear research gap, which allows you to enter into the scientist society and which allows you to enter into the uh, impact factor journals. So you have some outcome uh, and and you have some uh, findings that are and not found by any anyone else, right? So uh, see, uh, the, this is fixing a gap, right? This is a gap. So you have to find the gap analysis, right? Uh, so when you do literature review, you you have uh, to be very focused and very uh, keen interest, right? And you 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 do research uh, your your literature uh, all the in all the ways, all possible ways, right? Uh, means if your field is a particular field, then at, uh, concern to your field, concern to your area, you have to read all the papers. Uh, very well, and you need to understand that papers, right? And finally, you will got uh, your gap, and uh, when you find the gap, you are able to publish in uh, high impact journals. 
So these are the academic uh, database that is IEEE, Scopus, Springer, Hindavi, Elsevier, right? Different MDPI. <coughs> so where to publish? Actually, where to publish? Uh, Institute of Scientific Independence, uh, short form of ISI, that's Institute of uh, for Scientific Information, Web of Science. So research data information knowledge you need to uh, do research data analysis integration all the time do some experiments and finally uh, execution analysis and interpretation after interpretation you are interpretation you are in the position to uh, find your work uh, to be fixed in with, within the framework of the uh, others by uh, by justifying that your work is different from others right so Finish not by the right. Uh, uh, cannot finish, cannot stop every time, uh, any time because research is ongoing always. So always uh, you found uh, some flaws in the previous research because uh, when human being do something, it uh, will do not do anything which is perfect, right? So you need to find uh, smartly where is the gap and where is uh, where where can I found uh, my uh, my knowledge and my work and my idea into the new existing research work. So it is uh, that's the definition of what is impact factor. You can see what is impact factor, uh, the definition of impact factor, and uh, how to calculate the impact factor, right? Uh, actually, it is two years, five years different impact factor. So uh, the, side, the article cites in, in the year, and total paper, paper published in, in, in that year, right? So you will got the impact factor of maybe two years, five years, and so on. So uh, this calculation of impact factor, right? So journals are that being referred frequently means citation that information which must be accurate and reliable and contents reviewed by peer, exp uh, peer reviewed and experts will give the comments uh, and uh, your targets are actual uh, transactions, Elsevier, Willy, Paragraphs, uh, Nature of Science and different Springer. Uh, now, collecting information for quality publication, obviously it's very, very important that when you collecting information, uh, you have your site, your source of information must be uh, reliable, right? So there, there, there may be any uh, uh, PDFs uh, in, the, in the shape of books, in the shape of articles, uh, that are in the shape of some videos, right? And the primary sources, the media. So you can use all these sources uh, to converge your idea, right? And, uh, now we are we comes to the structure of the article. It's very important because uh, structure plays a very uh, key role and important role in uh, publication. So uh, start from title, abstract keywords, intro, uh, related works, uh, classification, analysis, uh, issues, uh, the future work, results, discussion, conclusion, and finally references. The references also play a very important role because uh, they see that. Uh, which papers you referred? If the, uh, your references are peer reviewed, that is quality journals, then uh, they said uh, it, it will make a worth of your manuscript as well, right? Because your manuscript written from a quality journals reviewed papers, peer reviewed papers, so your work also worth so much. So before starting the uh, structure, uh, one thing is very important that uh, your work, uh, why why they publish your manuscript? Uh, what is the attraction, right? Uh, why people uh, you sing a song and why people listen to you? Uh, is there any uh, tone? Is there any voice? Is there any attraction in your uh, sound? Why people listen to you, right? Means why your manuscript is important. So you need to have uh, a very uh, clear and uh, <coughs> uh, clear in, in terms of English, in terms of grammatical, uh, and zero mistakes. I can say zero mistakes in abstract because abstract is the first defense line. If your abstract is going past from a chief editor, and when uh, it, you mean it means you you enters 50% into the publication, right? When it, uh, then it will go to the reviewers, right? And uh, reviewers, if they uh, give you some comments, you will just uh, you know, do that work, uh, do that corrections, and uh, do that modi modifications according to reviewers' uh, comments, uh, and hopefully you will get uh, published, right? So make your uh, and manuscript to be attractive, right? Uh, and obviously, uh, these things uh, are present when, when present in your manuscript, it will get uh, attractive, right? Uh, future challenges, evolution, right? Uh, the potential gaps. 
So how to get uh, published? Uh, you need to criticize uh, means limitations and shortcomings, uh, and you need to point out the contributions, advantages of your work, why your work is important, what are its advantages, uh, and what it contributes actually. So you need to highlight the issues uh, in the previous research, in the previous work, and you need to solve that issues and uh, shortcomings in your research. And then you need to have a future work. That is, uh, you have a broader uh, mind and broader look at your manuscript. That uh, you have future work, future directions in your uh, manuscript, so that it gets get attraction, attractive to the readers, right? So <clears throat> must be supported with compare, and your manuscript must be compared with the tables and graphs because when you in, uh, in, uh, when you insert uh, when you include graphs and tables in your manuscript, it gets uh, more worth to the manuscript, right? And the, it is more clarity. It is more understandable. So the critical issues and future research sections are the most valuable parts of your review uh, because uh, it makes your uh, uh, manuscript uh, to be uh, to have a uh, value like a gold, 24 karat gold. Uh, very important that relevance with other words. You need to have a relevance that uh, what is the relevancy of your work, what you want to say, what they are in interested in right so see this man uh, want to fix this gap with his own uh, idea right so you have to show your novelty your gap and uh, the existing studies and uh, when you find the relevance uh, and you know, the manuscript reflects your relevance your work then uh, it, uh, there is a chance of uh, publication of 80 to 90 i can say 90 to 100 percent when you find the relevance of your work with other works right uh, and these are some uh, publication ethics that uh, plagiarism that includes you do not copy the other words, you do not copy the sentences, the words, the ideas, right? So everything is in uh, falls in the category of plagiarism. The ideas should be, as I as have told you earlier, that uh, it should be come from your own pocket, right? From own pocket, uh, not from others. So it should be uh, purely your ideas, not others' ideas, right? So. Uh, you, uh, you have a clear understanding of this that this has to be away from right? because uh, when you use the ideas and function without referring them, uh, without then presenting them as your own because if you uh, uh, reference the ideas and uh, of the others you have to encourage their words as well right and remember there is a difference between encouragement and criticism right so you criticize when uh, you find your own philosophy, that on thinking, on uh, method, right? So, at the, but at the other end, you need to encourage also, right? Because other researchers also do uh, the same work, but uh, you need to clarify uh, the change between yours and others. So you should be uh, very precise and very uh, clarity in your work. So obviously, it means some penalty and offensive to serve penalties. You need to have removed plagiarism from your work and away from uh, copying the uh, other works, other ideas, sentences, or anything else. Okay, let's, uh, let's start the structure of the article. Uh, that is, I have told you earlier, the title is the most important thing because title must be very catchy uh, to the readers, to the editorial team, right? Uh, because uh, and when the title uh, attracts the audience, uh, then uh, remember that title should be uh, essence of your paper, actually, uh, 12 to 15 words, not more than that. And uh, uh, when you search uh, from your, um, when you do uh, your review, you also search according, uh, means you read the paper which is catchy to you, eye-catching, right? And the title which, uh, which must be attractive to you, that eye-catching, then you go into the manuscript. Otherwise, if the uh, title is not catching, then uh, not attractive, then you should not open the manuscript. So, uh, what the, the words which which are catching, eye catching, are novel, new, modified, enhanced, improved, extended, design, right? So, avoid the use of abbreviation in the titles, and uh, you should uh, have given the last uh, when all sections, including abstract of the paper. So, title should be given in the to the manuscript in the last, right? When all things are done. And that and the last because title reflects your everything that your contribution, right? Your methodology, your results. So title, uh, what you can say in Urdu, I can say, Samandar ko kuzeh mein band karna. In the title should be in the 
last and it must be eye catching it must be attractive like these birds right so what's makes uh, you uh, your manuscript a uh, good title uh, obviously you have to uh, condense the paper and capture the reader's attention and you need to have a differentiate is between the paper and the same subject area that uh, you need to clarify your work is how it is different from others and what is the importance of your work right you need to uh, <clears throat> explain this in uh, in your own uh, words now start from abstract uh, remember that uh, good abstract uh, is uh, much be catchy and eye catching and attractive so trailer is like a trailer of a movie because when you saw the trailer of a movie it attracts you to saw the whole movie right so if the trailer is attractive the trailer is good uh, the trailer is uh, uh, extraordinary then movie uh, then the audience want to watch the watch that movie similarly the researcher want to read the whole article right uh, the abstract so uh, actually it gives a broader picture of the whole article abstract and uh, and the, the it starts from few sentences that is, starts from intro motivation next sentence uh, that explains problems then objectives then method and finally the results and future recommendation and conclusion right so these uh, all um, uh, and you remember that your abstract have zero mistake right no grammatical mistake no spell mistake because uh, if uh, the the mistakes is found in the abstract then uh, the editorial team is not uh, interested in your manuscript because it shows that you are careless you are not take care about your uh, words you are not take care about sentences and remember also there is there must be a flow in your sentences right your first sentence then your second sentence and sentences should be uh, short not very long right uh, 12 words 15 words maximum uh, short short sentences so the manuscript is going to be attractive if you use long sentences it becomes boring right it becomes exhaust the editorial team because nobody reads long sentences long stories right so it should be short and precise and choose uh, the the words which are most appropriate according to your problem so the choosing of words the choosing of sentences the choice the choosing of paragraphs all are very very important right? so <clears throat> it should be written in the last uh, because uh, when you write uh, complete your article abstract is a, a broader picture of the whole article so Uh, abstract must be written in the last not in the first right so uh, and it must cover the uh, whole article uh, and remember this uh, abstract is a entry door to get into the review because uh, because the editorial team that is especially chief editor uh, who reads your title which must be catchy and attractive then after title uh, uh, if, if the title is good enough he will go through your abstract right and if he found abstract is also good enough then he uh, assign that article to associate editor and then associate editor assign that manuscript to reviewers right so you this is a door to enter into the uh, uh, impact factor journal right so abstract must be perfect must be excellent must be extraordinary Uh, so these are the elements of abstract that uh, you need to have a primary objective then you need to highlight the contribution what is your contribution give the conceptual idea the method and why your method is important what uh, why this method is uh, better than previous methods you need to describe right and the research uh, design and procedures and processes and all the work that is simulations experimental surveys you need to mention Uh, the main outcome results and conclusion that might drawn um, from the abstract and that includes the amplification of further research uh, because it uh, gives a uh, worth to your uh, article uh, when you uh, when you mention the few future works in your um, uh, research then it uh, reflects that uh, you do uh, focusly and your uh, you do the research which is uh, uh, further can be your your work may be extend it further right so it, uh, it these all uh, things are uh, very attractive for the uh, abstract and the readers to go through the manuscript so these are some common method uh, common mistakes sorry uh, people do uh, so avoid these mistakes so avoid these mistakes uh, generic words uh, if you say uh, high low and small big is uh, ridiculous 
you you need to have a, a clear that uh, if you increase that how much percentage you increase if you decrease how much percentage you decrease right the generic word which is not general not general, very specific right so you need to have a, your story line which must be in sequential right the, the sentences must be synchronized with each other the story line must be synchronized right and, and don't uh, jumble your sentence right and uh, you you just uh, go and uh, you, you just throw into the journals no you need to have a proofread right and uh, <clears throat> it is better uh, that you hire some uh, english native english speaker uh, who can uh, uh, proofread your article and remove all grammatical spell or whatever the mistakes are there then after that you need to have a good asterisk and then you send it the keywords which are very important and that subject reflects the subject matter because keywords are those words by which people search your work in the google scholar right sometimes they type the keywords and they found the article so they must be come out from the title and abstract your keywords right <clears throat> okay now, now the next section uh, we finish abstract now the intro the intro is very important uh, section of your manuscript uh, so you need to have a problem uh, solved by you and uh, what are the flaws in the existing solutions what you find how your solution how your method is good how your method is effective right uh, everything you need to explain in the intro remember intro is very important part of your manuscript and it is also written uh, before the abstract means all the articles uh, starts from uh, you write starts from your results right then come to the method and then come to the uh, literature review and finally the intro so intro is a, uh, is also you i can say the samandar ko koze mein ban karna means uh, abstract was uh, the broader picture intro is uh, uh, intro is uh, gives you the whole uh, storyline the whole uh, uh, idea of your research right so you need to have a very good intro in your uh, manuscript so that it got uh, published in impact factor journal right so you have, you have uh, a very clear idea the limitations of the existing work and the if your findings uh, the advantages or the effectiveness of your findings and why your findings are important you need to clearly mention in the intro section of your manuscript uh, once you done uh, you will uh, found that your manuscript got published right so if you can see this is a funnel approach actually you start from journal right you start from surface area then you are going to be very specific right means from easy to difficult right so intro is you start from surface area start uh, talking about general problems then you need to narrow down narrow down narrow down and finally to your specific problem which you found and you talk about that specific problem with your specific method with your specific idea right so you need to have a clear picture about this you need to have a very clear findings very clear uh, wordings remember if your uh, article uh, the clarity of the article is uh, good then your manuscript uh, publication of your manuscript are very hopeful uh, your manuscript should be published inshallah <clears throat> this is the writing sequence uh, for the intro you have to start as i have told you earlier that start from journal overview journal overview and then understand the um, uh, uh, then you have to position your article into previous research that Uh, what flaws was in the previous research then uh, and that flaws you have to cover in your research by your method by your idea so followed by the concept and that is focused literature review uh, as i have told you earlier the literature review is the backbone of the research so if you done your literature review in all aspects then uh, nobody stops you and, and to publish right and it's very easy to get published right case build up the definition problem the specific references the highlight the inadequacies the loopholes and the flaws the gap the problem the shortcomings right and uh, suggest the fill the gap means how you uh, uh, overcome these shortcomings uh, or the gap or the problems with the previous ones uh, with your own method and with your own idea then state and propose idea solution research question and justify that uh, improve if your work 
uh, that uh, it can be improved by so and so. There is future directions as well. These are additional tips uh, for intro. That is hypothesis and objectives very important. Uh, then you need to highlight the contribution and do not uh, mix intro with results, discussion, and conclusion because sometimes people uh, discuss these things in their in their intro uh, section. So don't discuss the results, discussion, and conclusion. Right? These are different sections. So uh, the expressions such as novel, first time, first ever, and burning are not preferred because uh, once you are not sure that it is novel or first time or first ever, you cannot use these words, right? Be careful about your words because when you say novel, then uh, uh, editor review must check that really it is a novel or not, right? So until unless it is not novel, so you not need to uh, use these words, first time, first ever, right? So <clears throat> be careful about your wording. So bottom line, need to write the intro in such a way that reviewer is uh, convinced that paper is good enough uh, because uh, intro starts from general specific to some, uh, sorry, start from surface area to some specific. So if you achieve that goal, intro is excellent, right? If your intro is excellent, your abstract is ex uh, excellent, your title is excellent, uh, hopefully your manuscript is going to publish and 80 to 90% of your chances do. Uh, is going to be published. Methodology is a very important part of your manuscript. Uh, there is novelty, your idea, yeah, your own method, right? And why, why it is important and why these ideas uh, uh, not covered in the previous research, what is the new, what is the innovative, what is uh, what you have done new, right? So your methodology should be comes from your own mind, your own idea, right? Uh, uh, method, sometimes their method is on, idea is others, sometimes idea is others, but method is on. So anyway, if the method is yours and the idea is yours, then it becomes a perfect research and becomes a, a perfect manuscript to be uh, published in the impact journal, quality journal. And do not repeat the details. Uh, study the, uh, you need to have a uh, reduce, uh, uh, what do you can say? Remove the redundancy, right? The repetition of the words. Results, uh, obviously, very important because uh, this is the most critical part of the paper and uh, it reflects your works, actually. So you need to have a uh, proof and evidence of your hypothesis, what you have developed in the start. So uh, your, uh, it must prove that uh, your objectives are fine. Uh, your results must reflect on your objective. Re results must reflect on your methodology, right? means all things uh, must be in synchronized, right? Uh, start from title, abstract, intro, methodology, uh, results, conclusion. All these sections must be synchronized with each other, right? Uh, and the sentence must be in a flow. So uh, remember that uh, it is also art to present your results, right? So you need to have a uh, find the, which art you use, uh, the art which is uh, how to express your results, how to uh, express your findings, how to express your findings uh, and uh, how to express them in a technical way, right? Uh, so you need to have a uh, uh, example that is efficient, simplest losses. These are general, so you need to have a mention that uh, how much you increase, how much you decrease, how much you uh, enhance, right? Uh, now presenting the results, uh, very important that uh, if you improve, uh, for example, 0.01 percent, then this, this is also has a worth. Remember, uh, the, it's not a rocket science, you can do it because uh, when others do it, why, why not you? So you can do it uh, very easy, uh, just uh, if you found uh, there, uh, you have improved uh, whether 0.01 percent, then it is it has a worth, right? It has importance. So relate your improvement with your idea and method and uh, you must mention the limitations of your result, if any. And be careful. Uh, uh, don't uh, don't be so down that uh, your results have, I mean, if you tell so many limitations, then uh, the editorial team thinks that your results are not presentable, right? So just few. Do not hide. Also, because uh, when you say that your work is perfect, then editorial team say that how it is perfect because every work has some limitations, right? So don't hide your limitations. You have to, but in a uh, uh, but in a controllable manner, right? Not uh, not too much. So do not excessively highlight them. Careful with your choice of words, as I have uh, 
is not apologetic or self degrading and find ex excuses for the limitation if you have right so uh, it's very good to have your limitation with excuses so editorial team uh, have no chance to reject you uh, performance evaluation uh, that is uh, the graphs the figures uh, must be have a high resolution right these are not much uh, be copy paste it should be drawn by yourself uh, maybe you use use the different tools the visio the other tools right and draw your flow charts your graphics uh, to be the, the resolution should be very high very clear and uh, the graphs should be every value that is x axis y axis you need to mention what uh, what is represented by x axis what and what is represented by y axis title should be, you need uh, uh, to have a legends if you have uh, multiple graphs on uh, one uh, one pair, one uh, one figure then you need to have a different legends right different colors so that you can have your results uh, attractive and catchy conclusion is very important uh, part of um, when you uh, manuscript because it is like you are uh, going to land it your aeroplane back to the earth because to fly the aeroplane is a bit easy but to land it again to the earth is a bit difficult right so once you started your manuscript it seems very very good excellent but you need to have a uh, land it back to the earth that is you need to conclude your work in the end so if the conclusion is uh, you do you done your conclusion smartly and accordingly then it makes the uh, worth of your article and nobody stop you to publish in the impact factor journal so uh, what makes it uh, smarter that highlight the main results and achievements you need to benefits of your work and you need to mention the future research directions right and it must be short and well summarized and has no references because in conclusion and in abstract they, uh, remember there are no references in abstract and no references in uh, conclusion so do not mention the research problems or ideas that you are planning uh, it is uh, uh, in the <laughs> work in the because you need to uh, uh, you need to publish uh, more in the future so you do not need to mention your uh, research problems or ideas which are in your mind keep in your mind for the future work right don't uh, uh, mm, uh, don't highlight them in the uh, don't uh, what uh, what can say uh, uh, don't you please uh, mention them in the uh, all the problems in your conclusion right so that other body uh, somebody uh, can <coughs> theft your idea this before paper submission these are the tips uh, before the paper submission obviously you have to be careful and very carefully you have to read the paper uh, maybe two to three times and uh, uh, it is better practice if you go if you uh, give your manuscript to your colleagues uh, to your uh, supervisor co supervisor to go on from that uh, uh, manuscript and they will give you some uh, uh, rectification corrections right so make me make your figures graphs tables are to be very clear and uh, should your cover letter should be very good and attractive and uh, broad picture of your research and why your research is important right so your generated uh, pdf file is corrected and clear make sure that it is clear right sometimes because when you convert a word to the pdf then uh, some things got disturbed right the table sometimes sometimes the figures so make sure that everything is correct and Uh, all the information is present inside the manuscript right uh, zero spell mistake there is no spell mistake there is no grammatical mistake uh, make writing styles and reference style respective general according to general and uh, don't uh, <coughs> 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 means your the work should be uh, zero uh, with zero mistakes and uh, nobody cares uh, about your uh, that uh, uh ha -huh, yes you need to cite the some papers it is a thumb rule because when you are targeting some journal then you need to cite that journal four to five papers of that journal it is a thumb rule and uh, close to public uh, means uh, close to uh, acceptance of the publication in that particular journal so you need to have cite some uh, papers of the targeted journal which are you uh, you are targeted for publication Uh, criteria to select the journals uh, only indexing that is isi web of science and uh, just go for q1 q2 the high quality journals and you need to check the publication frequency that uh, monthly quarterly or yearly whatsoever you need to check and uh, to publish and to review your journals uh, you need to go the, uh, on this uh, link that 
on this link you just need to uh, type the journal title or the journal uh, ISSPN number. Uh, you will uh, got that uh, all the information that imperfector of that journal is what and the publication the frequency of the journal is what you, you got everything right. <clears throat> the acceptance ratio. Uh, you see the acceptance ratio of that journal, right? Members of editorial team, the, are they friendly, right? What are their interest areas? So check impact factor on JCR, journal citation report. There and tips to select the journal. Uh, uh, you can put your abstract in the journal finder to order that you may choose the relevant journal. So Springer, Elsevier, right? So time is money because you have to save the time. If you send your article at wrong journal, then uh, you need to wait until editorial team replies you, right? So it is also a wastage of time and time is money. So you need to have select a proper journal. Uh, relevance of your work uh, and proper journal, proper area of field uh, which is relevant to that journal, right? So be careful about the choice of the journals. Uh, writing language is very important. Uh, you need to avoid unnecessary redundancy. The tenses must be present in definite tense or present perfect tense, right? So sometimes you uh, talk something and then uh, uh, the tense becomes changed, right? So it becomes uh, gives less birth to the manuscript. Uh, and you may use active or passive voice whatsoever. Uh, so as I've told you earlier that ask your colleague to read your paper because when you wrote a paper uh, for you, it is a perfect. But when your uh, manuscript read by others, then uh, others will criticize. Uh, others will see with, with their own thinking, right? So um, get your manuscript read from the uh, others also so that they can give their feedbacks to you. And the avoid images sentence such as can be or may be because these are not sure that are uh, sentence. So and avoid negative sentences. <clears throat> so keep in mind that uh, more publication, more experience and reviewers don't know you are or your research. They only evaluate your paper. So don't discourage and keep going and flex your writing. Try to work as reviewer with some journals because when you work as a reviewer, you find that uh, what is the flaws in the manuscript? Uh, what what uh, suggestion are giving to the author to that manuscript to be published uh, to be polished and uh, free from all errors? These are some uh, secret tips uh, for publication that uh, title must be new, interesting, relevant, relative, relevancy is very important. Uh, novelty methodology should be explained clearly. Uh, professional presentation and uh, followed guidelines and fall under fields so as a journal. The good strategy in the revising the manuscript and the clarity, prayers and thanks to Allah. Right. So these are the secret trips uh, for publications. Now, normally four to six authors uh, are ideal for uh, ICI journals, but if you have more, you can you may add more. But if you add more authors, your worth becomes less, right? Because uh, if the authors becomes greater in number, then uh, it reflects that your manuscript is uh, supported by so many people, right? If the authors are less, then it reflects that your manuscript is uh, supported uh, by you uh, and your supervisor and co-supervisor whatsoever, and sometimes your colleagues. But so many authors is not a good practice. So after getting your review back, uh, you have uh, carefully comments. Uh, you should go. Uh, uh, rectify your paper, right? To improve and try to uh, constructive, easy, and implement. And, uh, and uh, you have a chance to polish your article, right? Uh, you have a good digestive system so that you can digest the comments of the reviewers because sometimes they, they uh, sometimes not all the time. Sometimes they, this is foolish. This is uh, this is ridiculous. This is uh, very bad or what whatever. But digest that comments, right? Just to, and you have to have experience and <clears throat> you have to uh, chance to re, uh, re uh, mis uh, polish your article and free from all mistakes, rectify your articles. So reposition if your article, right? Again, don't represent just reviewer rejected. Right? And to add this. Uh, this is the flowchart uh, for the publication procedure. Uh, it starts from write a paper, then select a journal, right? And so all I have discussed in my 
talk so you can see uh, it is a, a continuous process right uh, sometimes the uh, manuscript uh, comes uh, back between you and the editorial team four to five times right but uh, don't give up this manuscript but in more uh, fine right time you need to have a answer the queries of the uh, comments uh, you have to encounter all the comments and you need to polish your article again and again right so don't give up and this is a format a format for the citing the references sometimes uh, the format is author author year title book edition publisher year so it is different right you can just uh, see around it Uh, you can uh, uh, formatting for citing the references. You can cite the references. Uh, remember, the life is very short. Enjoy your study, and uh, feel free to ask the questions if you have any. And thank you for patience and listening to me. Thank you all. <coughs> thank you very much for the very informative session anybody who want to ask a question you can unmute or raise your hand if your mic is not enabled the respected participants i think all is clear ji mr atazas अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर सर मैं ये पूछना चाह रहा था कि ज्यादा अभी जो मैं फ्लो चार्ट आपका देख रहा था तो ज्यादा बेहतर क्या होता है कि हम जर्नल को सिलेक्ट करने के बाद पेपर की तरफ जाएं या पेपर लिखने के बाद जर्नल को सिलेक्ट करें तो आप माशाल्लाह आप उनके इतने पेपर्स हैं तो ज्यादातर आपका क्या इसमें क्राइटेरिया होता है आप पहले जर्नल सेलेक्ट करते हैं फिर उसके बाद उसके पेपर को सारा मॉडिफाइड करते हैं हां वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एतजाज फर्स्ट यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट द Get the journal. You accordingly write write it right. The structure of the paper, the language, the sentences, the references. So it has become easier to publish, right? But if you write first and then you target the journal, you need to change the change it accordingly. But the, both the, both the methods are okay. You can do it like uh, targeting the journal first, or you can uh, target the journal uh, uh, later. It's okay. Thank you, sir. आपने डू नॉट हाइड के नाम से एक पॉइंट रेस किया था वो थोड़ा क्लियर कर दें कि क्या वो रिजल्ट्स मतलब उस थोड़ा में क्लियर नहीं था पॉइंट मेरा जी अच्छा उसमें ऐसा था कि बेसिकली आप uh, क्या होता है कि जब आपने रिजल्ट्स प्रेजेंट करते हो ना तो आप uh, उसमें थोड़ा से ओवर यानी आपने सम uh, रिसर्चर यानी उसके थोड़ा यानी अपनी लिमिटेशंस को हाइड कर देते हैं तो अपनी लिमिटेशन भी बतानी होती है रिसर्च इसी तरह होती है क्योंकि जब आपने लिमिटेशन बताएंगे तो एक जो रीडर होगा उसे ये आइडिया मिलेगा कि इसमें फर्दर इन्हेंसमेंट फ्यूचर डायरेक्शन उससे मिलेगी तो समटाइम्स ऑथर जो है ना अपनी जो लिमिटेशन है वो हाइड कर देते हैं लिमिटेशन को हाइड नहीं करना होता लेकिन बहुत ज्यादा खोलना भी नहीं होता राइट तो फ्यू सेंटेंसेस में यानी थोड़ा सा उसको बताना होता है कि ये लिमिटेशन हैं इसमें तब वो आर्टिकल परफेक्ट हो जाता थैंक यू सरबडी एल्स वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी okay thank you very much sir uh, and all the participants uh, for the uh, for their uh, participation and i think it will be very helpful to get the publications done which is requirement for every university to get the good ranking rajesh masood ladek sir always contribute positively uh, good scholar he always uh, 
disseminate the knowledge uh, of knowledge regarding different topics. So uh, I am very thankful to Dr. Raja Masood Larek, uh, who again join us in continuing education program and capacity development program of Sasayed University. And as a resource person, uh, I will provide the certificate uh, to uh, Dr. Raja Masood Larek sir. And the hard copy will be sent to you, sir, on your office. And uh, just uh, to show the audience, this is the current soft copy. And thank you very much for your participation. And uh, as a spokesperson, Dr. Raja Masood Lare, who is very helpful in terms of publications. And hopefully we will continue further learning process uh, as a, a scholar in different universities, although we are present, but we like to work together to increase the publications and the, and the overall ranking of universities throughout the Pakistan. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you to Noman Ali Khan and all the team. Thank you. Thank so you. I will all, uh, my services are always available for different workshops, inshallah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Naman sir. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, 